Hey, what's up? Today I've got another Game Genie video for you. This time, all about Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario 3 is a game I've never really done much with in regards to Game Genie codes, so I'm really happy to be able to make an entire video about it. The video's got a ton of codes, so screw this intro. Let's just get into the video. Mario 3. What a game. When I was younger, I tried and tried making codes for this game, but I never could make any that were on the level of the original Super Mario Bros. The original Mario was so much easier to corrupt and find weird codes for. I recently came back to it though and gave another shot at creating some crazy codes for Super Mario 3. I didn't create all the codes we're about to look at, but I did create most of them. There's a lot of codes to go through here, so in this video I've somewhat grouped these codes together to try and make more sense of it. To kick this off, we're going to check out difficulty codes, which are good to throw on if the original Mario 3 is too easy for you these days. Pio Kult Zavusli. This code's a three-liner, but you're still able to use this on a real game, Genie. It's a fantastic code that I really recommend any Mario 3 pros check out. It adds cheap cheeps to every single stage in the game, which brings up the difficulty to an extreme level. Nowhere is safe. These cheap cheeps are cheap as shit and will follow you into the toad houses and even coin heavens. It's an awesome code, but ah, uh, so damn difficult. Definitely one to check out. Kegkel. Kegkel is a pretty cool code. While it's nowhere near as difficult as the last code, this code creates random ass holes in some of the stages. These holes can really throw you off if you like to hurry or speed run through some of the levels like I do. With this code, you need to be more vigilant and not just operate off of what you already know, or what you think you knew, or probably knew at one point, but no longer know. I have no idea what the fuck I'm saying. Pizia. Pizia is such a strange code. This one was a result of a late night code mashing session. Just changing one letter at a time. You know the drill. When I found this one, I had such a fun time screwing around with it. I knew it was a gem. So yeah, when you jump in the air, you create this sort of solid wall of dirt stuff. And you run on the donut blocks, which is what you use to fall lower to the ground. This one's kind of hard to explain, but it's super fun and you should definitely check this code out. Graphic Corruptors. So these codes are all about glitching and corrupting the graphics and stuff similar to that. I've got several of these to show you, so let's do it. I-I-A-O-K-G. So this first code is pretty damn weird. Actually confusing would probably be a better word for it. The whole stage layout is how you'd expect it to be, but wow, these are all the wrong tiles. You've got fake note blocks for the ground fake bricks in the background, and wow, this must be where they store the extra pipes in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> I-G-A-O-K-G. Oh man, so strange. Here's another variant of the last code. This time we have question blocks for the ground, music notes and ice blocks for the clouds. And man, let's not even get into the castle levels. That place is fucked up. A-E-P-Z-I-A. Here's one that's pretty damn stupid. Everything seems to be normal, right? Well, it is normal until you grab the leaf at the beginning of the level. From here on out, the audio gets kinda crazy. Aw oh man, that's annoying. YXOZIP Here's a weird one. This one makes the sky an off-red color, makes the ground all kinds of screwy, and makes the enemies have tracers. What's a tracer? Well, let's hop over to Urban Dictionary for that one. Crazy Carl defines this one as the visual sensation of images seeming to have a trail behind them due to eat a lot of mushrooms. Dude, when I turn my head, I get all sorts of these freaking sweet tracers. Oh my, look at the unicorn. Just more proof that Mario has a drug problem. <laughs> PXPZIP. Wait, if you suffer from seizures or anything like that, you should probably look away for this next code, because it will probably fuck you up. I call this code the Paranoid Cop Code. Here's the setting. Mario just picked up a big bag of shrooms from his dealer and decided to munch a few caps on the way home. That's when shit got real. The cops are after Mario. And it's your mission to get to your girl Toadstool's house to chill the fuck out. Haha, <laughs> for real though, this code makes me feel sick. It's just too much. 
<laughs> Papzug. The Night Mode Code. This code brings darkness to the Mushroom Kingdom. It really does make the game look like it's taking place at night. I've seen some night codes online in the past, but they all had sort of graphical glitches and would all freeze randomly, or immediately after you beat a level. My original version was Yapzug. But for some strange reason, there was this big pipe at the beginning of the stage 1-5 that blocked you from doing the stage. This alternate version, P-A-P-Z-U-G, moves that pipe a little bit so you can get through. This code isn't fully tested though, but it's still pretty kick-ass in my opinion. KK Coin. KKK Coin. Haha, <laughs> don't want one of those. This code's pretty interesting. It messes up the levels and makes them really strange. You're going to want to use the debug mode code KKKZSPIU to play these. With the debug mode code, you can hit start to finish a level. This one's fun to explore and see what you can find. PSN sucks. While I don't necessarily agree that PSN sucks, it has gotten better in recent years. This code really screws with the bad guys. <laughs> is Mario kicking their asses through his own? Or are they kicking his? <laughs> or is he farting? <laughs> this code is freaking weird, and I like it. PPXKUA, Suicidal Enemies and Objects. This one is interesting. It makes some of the bad guys straight up jump off the screen when they see Mario, and others it makes them act really strange. They're all really afraid of Mario, though you can't really blame them. Mario is pretty damn cruel to the creatures of Mushroom Kingdom. ISPUTK, I call this code the train code. In this code, you'll hear a weird sound that sounds like a train stopping. When the train stops, the weirdness begins. Mario floats and gets hurt by something invisible. It's not a stable code though, but I refined it a bit in the next code. S-E-P-U-T-K Another revision of the train code. We can hear the train sound before things start to get weird. Goombas jump off the screen, Koopa Troopas turn into ghosts and then back alive again. KSI III. This code makes enemies weird when you jump on them. Did, did I kill him? While not the most elaborate code, this one's definitely good for a few chuckles. Sluts. Sluts is a cool music code that really changes the groove. Haha, <laughs> take a listen. Music codes don't usually impress me because they mostly sound terrible. Same can be said about this one in the castle levels. Listen to this. Ugh, awful. But this is Sluts, man. Haha, <laughs> Sluts. Now for some Mario codes. These codes will affect Mario in some way. Check it out. K-E-K-X-G-L-I-E. -E. Death Mario. Mario can pass through enemies and not take any damage because, well, he's death. This is almost an awesome code, but you can't seem to go up or down any pipes, so really it's kind of stupid. This one needs a little work to become a great code, but I love the way he looks here. O-O-K-X-G-L-I-E. You ever tried the purple swimming raccoon Mario suit? Well, you can try it now. I've seen some swim through levels codes in the past, but this one really works well and you've got it always because if you take any damage, you won't lose it like some other codes. Just don't touch the water with this code. Purple swimming raccoon Mario can't swim in real water. <laughs> KXKXGLIE. Here's another crazy swimming code. Mario is some crazy looking block here with, I guess, fins on his head. This crazy Mario suit has a special power to it. You ready to see? All right, check this out. The mystical poof. <laughs> nah, it doesn't kill any bad guys or anything. It just looks cool. Again, don't touch the water here or glitchy Mario will get electrocuted. <laughs> E-S-I-I-I-E. Piranha Plant Mario. So what's Piranha Mario do? Nothing. He's just regular Mario with Piranha Plants surrounding him. And really, it's simple arithmetic. Mario plus Piranha Plants equals better. This code seems to affect the downward motion of enemies and also screws up these platforms. But who needs them when you got Piranha Plants? 
A-E-K-X-G-L-I-E. Okay, so these Mario codes are pretty stupid, but here's one that's actually really pretty sweet. What this code does is randomly change Mario's power-up to something different. There's no reason to this code, and the randomness is a good challenge. It's guaranteed to throw you off when you're depending on a certain power. It'll definitely get you into some interesting situations. Coin codes. These next couple codes are coin codes. These are the kind of codes you can throw on for someone who's not a Super Mario Pro, or just to change up the game a little bit and make it easier. Pizzas. Pizzas is an interesting code that makes small Mario able to change bricks to coins when he bonks them. This only works for small Mario, but you know, if you're running around as small Mario a lot, you're probably the type of person that could use the extra coins. Pizza is good. A-A-K-X-T-I-Y-P A-A-V-Z-A-I-I-A Next we have a two-line code that is, in my opinion, very interesting. This code lets Mario turn most solid objects into coins and dig holes through stuff. This code is a lot more interesting than you'd think. You can use it to dig tunnels through areas or even defeat bad guys. I found myself exploring a lot more of the levels using this code, which brings a whole other level to the gameplay and is really interesting. It's definitely one that you should try out for yourself. Challenge code. It's time for the challenge code. What's a challenge code? This last code is a code I created that brings a serious challenge to the game. If you're watching this video and are able to, you should definitely attempt this next code. It adds a serious difficulty and makes it a challenge to even pass the first level. L-U-A-Z-I-E The whole code. This code removes the block that is directly in front and underneath Mario. If you stop, you're dead. It's hard to jump too, because Mario is sort of falling and you only have a split moment to jump when your feet connect with the block before it disappears. This is seriously one of the most difficult codes that I have ever seen for this game. It's so tough to even get past the first piranha plant. It's addictive too. I found myself trying over and over again, just barely making any progress with each play. Like one of those stupid cell phone games that are too hard and you can't put it down because fuck, maybe this next time I'll get a little further. I got further last time. Fuck. Shit. Damn. Well, that was it. That's all the codes I have for you right now. I hope you liked the video. I got a pretty big response on that last video where I read your guys' comments. So it looks like we'll be doing a part two of that. So make sure to join me next time. You don't want to miss what's coming up next. Hit that subscribe button now. Do it. Later, Masturbator.